Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. I told y'all on the last video, I told you we're headed to South Dakota, and look at that South Dakota sunrise behind me. Uh, we just woke up, stayed in the hotel last night, which uh, here in just a little bit, I'll take you guys to the hotel that we're staying at. We're just gonna do a rundown today. Just a good old South Dakota scouting video. Uh, the sunrises and sunsets here. Let me tell you what, check it out. When I say gorgeous, I mean, it's kind of an understatement. Amazing. But I'm here with Bradwick. Uh, Y'all remember Brad, the other owner of Ducks. One of the owner of Ducks. And then we're here with old Krusty Rusty. Da -na -na -na. Look at them, Gene, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> one, uh, I put him. I put him on my Instagram story, and one of our buddies was like, "Oh, old Rusty, looking homeless as ever." But we're out here, and this is what we're doing. We're watching geese. We found us a roost. Check him out. Ooh, listen, boys. Seems like there's more back here. Oh, that sounds good. So I'll give you a little rundown. Uh, we found a uh, roost yesterday, and it's the most birds we've found. We we've done. Uh, mild driving. I'm not gonna say a lot, but for the driving that we've done, this is by far the best area for birds. Uh, today we're going to, uh, Bradley actually brought his massive lens on his camera. So what we're gonna do for you guys is there is a field south of us with literally thousands of ducks. Uh, we're gonna film them. It's awesome. It's gorgeous. And then uh, we're just gonna try to film some, uh, some scouting videos for you today. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like it, if you're excited for the South Dakota videos, this is my first time ever hunting here. Smash the thumbs up button for us. What are you thinking, Bradley? I'm ready. That Been... sunset makes you look better, for sure. Oh, you mean that? <laughs> yeah, we're not even we're not even at the peak right now. We missed it about 20 minutes ago. They're gorgeous up here. Oh man, but like, I'm stoked. Been too long since February. Yeah, it's I'm what's the temperature? The seal. What's the temperature at right now? Ah, uh, what is it? Upper 50s. It's not cold. horrible. It's cool. It's cold. It's cool. Guaranteed, it's cold. It's gonna be cold on Monday. Got Monday's it. gonna be high or low of 40... 42, they're saying right now. A low of 42, and north winds at 20. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's here, boys. Sorry, I just had to go ahead and get this epic little shot of you. <laughs> oh, boy. Go down your window. Look at this little next to the road absolutely stuffed with a lot ducks. of ducks Check, look at this up they probably won't be able to see it with the wide angle all right boys and gals uh we're gonna throw on the big lens oh look at them dude they're dumping thousands of ducks in the air right now we're gonna post up we're gonna get some good footage right here boys Whoa. gorgeous absolutely gorgeous we're gonna sit here a little bit. I mean, there's just ducks pouring in. Oh, they're all getting up now. You getting the juice there, Ricky? Unreal. They're all getting up. It's a lot of ducks. Oh, here we go. They're gonna all drop in. Here they come. Oh, dude. You get them playing chicken <laughs> like in Top Gun, just going back and forth. Gee, they look like blackbirds. There's so many of them. Unreal. There you go. Keep coming. It's juice. Gee, many Christmas. Oh, boy. Look at that. Just hammering down, boys. Oh, here comes another big one. Oh, boy. They look like mosquitoes. A lot of you were uh, were here, uh, what, last week, the week four for the uh, North Dakota videos. And when I said that there's a lot of ducks this year, <clears throat> there's an enormous amount of ducks this year. It's going to be a good year for ducks. God dang, that fires me right up, boys. Well, we're here at the farm. Your family's farm, right? Yep. Uh, this is where my, uh, both my parents actually grew up up here. So I try to make it up here quite a bit. Uh, do some hunting, fishing. Can't beat it. South Dakota, 
Uh, it's a lot like North Dakota, uh, but man, is it gorgeous. The sun rises and sunsets, just the, the sky. It's huge, huge, huge. This is what we got going on now. We're gonna hop in the old Ranger and uh, we're gonna head to the stock dam. Now the stock dam, old Bradley has told me about the stock dam for years and years and years. And uh, we gotta go check it. We gotta go see if there's any birds on it. Little scout report here. Uh, this was our first morning scouting. Uh, Rusty and Brad actually came up, what, last week, a week ago? Yep, last weekend. <clears throat> and they found some decent feeds. They pinned them. That's what we went and looked at this morning. And then uh, and then uh, today we bombed around. We just got done finding. How many was in that last feed, do you think? Shoot, I don't know. I'd probably say three to four hundred yeah. maybe sitting in that. So it was, feed. it was honestly the biggest feed. It was a, bigger than any feed that I even seen in North Dakota last week or two. So... Uh, we're still working on that one. Well, we're pulling up here. I gotta answer you guys' questions because I know what you're gonna ask. Uh, <clears throat> I've been getting a lot of people when I came back from North Dakota, hey, how many birds were up there? Guys, I'll tell you this. If you if you plan on going to North Dakota or South Dakota to hunt, especially South Dakota because you can't just go hunt wherever if it's, you know, not posted. South Dakota, you gotta, you gotta get permission on everything. Um, Honestly, if you were to drive as far as I did, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of work. You got to know people. You got to know locals, just like this. Where we're headed is, uh, it is actually the highest spot in the county. There you go. I got you. I want hander. I got you. Thank you, son. Thank you. Dang! What up, Vato? Howdy, partner. What up? You mobbing? <laughs> Watch out now, come on. Come on. They've been calving, huh? Yeah, that's what they, uh, you know, my cousin said they were going out calving here this morning, so. Uh, probably check in, him, in with him here later on today, see how that went, but I know they've been busy with it, so we'll see. Beautiful, man. South Dakota has all these rolling valleys like this and an absolute ton of pasture ground. The amount of pasture ground is just unreal. <laughs> yeah, good call, Bill. <laughs> Gets a little rough down here, boys. Yeah. I was like, hey, why don't we just take the truck? This way we didn't take the truck. I'd have been scuffing my wheels and all sorts. I'd, I'd have been cussing you. Yeah, gotta <laughs> take the ranger through these parts, you know? Well, we're just mobbing up a giant hill. It's crazy to think geese sit all the way on top of this hill. I know, that, that's the best part about this whole deal, though, is, you know, at this stock dam, you can literally just see for miles up here. Uh-huh. So you can just, I mean, wherever they're coming from, you know, you can get ready and you know they're gonna be there. So. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're way up here now. Well, we got a few honkers. Dude, a, a few pigeons. I do declare there's a few birds out there. There's a few? Hey, shoot this pigeon coming over your head. Where's your gun, dude? Yeah, there's a few out there. Well, let's check it out. I hope y'all can see them. There's a few out there. That is a hunt of a lifetime. Down there. Oh, oh yeah. boys. So this is our for sure, sure hunt. Like this is, uh, you know, you're the only one with permission on it pretty much. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. There's nobody else that's going to be able to get on this. So <sighs> not only are we going to have one heck of a honker hunt, but we're going to have one heck of a duck show in the morning. You ain't lying. <laughs> This is the juice. What do you guys reckon? Are we gonna, this gonna be our first hunt? Uh, it's a toss up. I think if we could get on that other feed, we go there first, yeah. maybe maybe do this on Sunday. Right. But if not, I think we smash them here. Agreed? I agree. What, a, would, uh, what a shirt do you got? Oh, that's that one. You guys oh, like this? Oh, look at this. Check out that Ducks Lab shirt three dogs we got a yellow a black and a chocolate on there this shirt is a 48 hour shirt available today, today. and monday yes 
sir, by the time this goes up. Probably the next two days. Two days. Sunday and Monday. Sunday and Monday. If you guys want to pick up that three dog, that lab shirt, chocolate, yellow, and the old black male, I'll link it down in the description. Like I said, it's only available for two days, 48 hours. Man, gorgeous, dude. Gorgeous country up here. I want to bring my family up here for a dang vacation, man. Bodie, when I left, Bodie was like, Dad, can I go? And I'm like, Bubba, you're only three. <laughs> Not yet, son. But uh, the old stock dam, uh, we're trying to get a plan on it. Uh, there are birds roosting on it. I don't think as many uh, that are actually here right now. Rusty believes, uh, from the info of his cousin checking this probably once a week, they believe that this abundance of birds is actually mostly loafing midday. I mean, honestly, uh, maybe 50 of them are staying on it overnight, but we're gonna check it this evening, probably a couple times just to see what's going on and when we can get in there and hunt them. Sorry, I gotta do this to you. The first time I seen you and you got out of your Jetta, <laughs> <laughs> he's got a little gasser, I was like, this guy looks way too serious for me. Just turns out. Exactly, just a good old boy. Just another, uh, oh, sorry. Just another South Dakota cowboy. <laughs> Always forget your name, Dane. I wanna give Dane a huge shout out. Uh, last night we met him. He noticed my truck. Yeah, I know. It's really noticeable. <laughs> All the way up in North Dakota, I think I got stopped one day twice on the road scouting by, by y'all, some fans. So, big shout out, Dane, what up guys? Uh, I hope you guys, uh, this video is going up Sunday. I hope you guys did good, man. Yeah, I know, we're gonna be headed to the hotel soon. Believe me, like I said, it's nothing special. But, we pulled, uh, we pulled Bradley's trailer up here. Yes, sir. You got her loaded down, dog, it looks good. We got her loaded to the brim. You wanted a trailer for a long time, you finally made it happen last year. Yeah, worked out nice, got all the full bodies to the front. Yeah, all the got full it. bodies are in front, all guarded up. Got enough room to bring the four-wheeler along, and a little room for blinds, frames, everything else under the sun. So. Looks good. Looks good. Is this a 14 footer? 12. This is a 12 footer? Mm -hmm. Looks bigger than it. It's a tandem axle. It's I thought, it was, thought it was a 14 footer. Next day, midday, uh, after the hunt, after this morning's hunt, we're hunting this evening, same field, left to spread up. Y'all will see that video. It's actually going to be the first hunt here from South Dakota. But, old Cole, he's getting down on the grill. Always. Oh my, even some watermelon action. <laughs> hey guys. We're just chilling. So check this out. We're in the hotel. This is a little pin map. Check it out. I put one right where I'm from. Y'all have been suggesting that I get this for the lodge so everybody can mark where they're from. Well, here we go. <laughs> look at this. Look, look. You know what that says? No dogs. Okay. That's good. Come on. Get that boy. <laughs> Bear, no, no, here, here. <laughs> Coast is clear. Old bear. You know how it goes. A lot of hotels don't allow dogs. But he's a good dog, man. He's just like Fred. He's a good dog. It would have been the real craps if he would have took a big dump in here or something. <laughs> I think I'd have been kicking him out at that point, too. He's not welcome after that. <laughs> he's a good boy. But it's time to fire up the old computer. I am uh, going to get this video wrapped up for you guys and uh, we're, we're going to go back out this afternoon and finish up uh, the afternoon hunt. Today we're four on the board so far uh, just to let you know but you got to stick around for the first hunt. It's been a uh, it's been a hoot so hunted this morning going back to evening. The evening has been the main flight uh, but it's my first time in South Dakota. What do you expect? You're not just going to go out and whack them all. It's hunting. It's not killing. Hey, it, it's hunting, not killing, remember? It's tough, yeah. It's not easy, it's not easy. So, we're trying. We'll Any two, 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 what's your what's your just low down on early Canada goose hunting? It's tough, especially it's 85 degrees out right now, so yep. it, to put a pattern between the mornings and evenings is tough. It's, it's a crap tough. shoot, it's yep. a crap shoot. But I'm glad y'all are here. Please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hopefully we'll have two, three, uh, videos coming from South Dakota, but 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. If you guys want to pick up something from Ducks, you know the deal. It's linked down in the description below. Anytime you guys purchase something, it helps me bring you guys more of these trips, more of these videos, and just above all, more waterfowl hunting vidges. But thank you all for being here. Until next time. Peace.